Hey guys, um, in this video uh, I'm going to show you how you can detect collisions uh, to see if your player is still in the, in the game. And this is an SDL tutorial, so let us begin. So first I'm going to write this code inside our game loop while the game is running. So I'm going to check, uh, we want the player to be inside of the game. and. By being, being inside the game, I mean that you can't uh, go outside of the walls. Or, well, it's not a wall, but we can build some walls so we can keep this player inside of these. We, don't, we want the player always to be on the screen, so we don't want it to disappear, so we need to make some walls to check uh, if there is a collision between the player and this wall here. So, you know, when you start off, uh, here at the top, that's, that's when uh, x is uh, 0, and y is 0, and then x increases here, and y increases here. So, we can first check if the player is outside of these walls if it's over here or over here then we know that it's lower than zero so if the player is lower than zero I want to check if the player is lower than zero so I want to write distance x first and if it's lower than zero we want to set just distance x to be equal to zero because that's inside our game and then we want to check the y and yes the same thing here we have set it to be equal. Okay, so let's try that out. Try that out. Um, you see, uh, I can no longer go any further than zero, uh, but I still could move outside of here because I haven't made any walls. So let's make some walls. And this code is a little more complicated but still it's pretty easy um, I'm going to write distance x plus the width uh, of uh, the player or the sprite um, we must take that uh, plus the width because I guess I'll delete that I can show you why we are doing it like this um, because we need to take a plus uh, the width of the player, so we want to calculate the, the right side of the player. We don't want to calculate this side, so uh, if we don't take plus the width, uh, it will calculate this side. And when we are going to go here, and uh, this side will move, be moved side of the screen. And when this side, um, given this side, uh, an error or a collision detection have occurred. But we want to check this side, okay? Uh, it's the same this side. We want to check this one and not that one when we are moving outside of here. It may sound a bit complicated, but it's fairly easy. So, let's just write the code again. This is x plus the width uh, of the player. This is an integer, of course, that holds the width. Um, if that is higher than our screen height, or screen width, and our screen width is 640. Uh, we want to set distance x to be equal to 640 minus the width. So it's that easy. Um, the code for the bottom is the same. I'm just going to write height here. And that's also an integer that holds the height. And if that's higher than 480, which my which is my screen height, we want to check set distance y to be equal to 480 minus the height. Okay, so let's try to compile that, and it succeeded. And try to move at the bottom, and you see we can't. 
so it works and everything is nicely done. Um, there's only one thing that we can do here to make it. It's always good to have all the numbers you're using, like in the screen width and the screen height, to hold that into integers. So I'm just going to make two new integers uh, to hold the screen values. Screen and the first one is going to be called screen width. And I'll be setting that to 640. And another integer for the screen height. Setting that to 480. And when we apply the surface here, it's going to change this to our integer screen width, screen height. And same thing here. So you can better understand the code than when you're looking on it, what it's doing. Change this one as well, screen height. Screen underscore height. This is not something you need to do, but it's good when you learn the code. Okay, so you can see it works, and you can better understand the code now. Uh, this integer called width is a bad name for a player sprite's name. Uh, it should be something like player underscore width or something. That would be much better, easier to understand. And you can change that if you want, you can try this out and play around with it. Okay, so yeah.